All right, David Cooley, Catfish Cooley. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Ultra Beast Arm Wrestling 101. This is lesson one today, um, and then we will have a follow-up lesson um, when I at another time. <laughs> All right, um, I'm Professor Champion Status here, um, and I'm going to teach you how to become Champion Status. Now, this isn't. Now, when we talk about arm wrestling, I want you to know that it isn't. It isn't this this side to side thing that you learned growing up. There's way more to it than that. You're gonna have to pull toward yourself too. Um, so we're gonna have to learn how to get your elbow set right first on the pad because that makes such a big difference getting that foundation set. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can set your elbow up. Actually, there's a few ways. Um, you can do traditional where you just get the center of your elbow in, into the center of the pad and, and take a grip. Um, or you can lay on the side of your elbow and, and tuck, your, tuck your, uh, the inner part of your elbow up closer to your body if you feel stronger that way. Um, or you can, you can put all the pressure in the bottom of the elbow so post up like this and put all your pressure down into the pad like this and be like a down pressure and that can be a position also. Um, they all have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, um, so you'll have to try them all out, both hands. Um, all you're going to do is just get on a table or make a table um, and just practice getting your, you can probably, shit. I made pads. This is my original junk table. Um, I like to use this table because this one means a lot to me. Um, it was made by a friend of mine on a surprise notice because I asked him to train with me for um, the Arm Wrestling State Championship, my very first contest, and, uh, and he brought me this table that he made for me out of, out of some junk scrap parts at his work that day. So uh, this one I got, I made the legs stronger so it would be a little tougher, but the, the elbow pads the same as what he put on there. I made these um, pin pads. This is my first like table, so it's a little like uh, crude, but that's why I like it because um, I didn't know what I was doing, but I wanted to get it set up bad enough that I was willing to like, I'll do it like this then. I'll make a pin pad out of some foam from a packaging store uh, with duct tape. <laughs> so um, I got the nice tables upstairs, um, but this is my practice table. This is my training table. so. Um, I went off, I went off there for a minute. Damn, that happens sometimes. Okay, so elbow placements first. Um, when we, when you get into the hand grip, um, there's a, a couple of things. There, the hand grip is there's all kind of stuff that goes on there. So you have to really, that will come with time. But the one thing you want to remember um, is there's basically three ways to win, ba three basic ways to win. You can top roll a person down, you can hook a person down, or you can hook and press a person down. Um, and there's different variations for all those. Uh, most people are top rollers, which means they pull toward themselves as hard as they can. Um, so if their hand is set like this, they'll, they'll cap over their thumb if somebody does a double cap over their thumb, which is they take their first two fingers and double cap it to lock that to lock that opponent's thumb in, then you know they're probably going to top roll. That's another little thing that you should know. Um, anybody that caps their thumb, is, if they cap a double cap, they're going to top roll. So you got to be ready for that. Because um, somebody that, that's going to hook, they're going to want to get you lower because they're going to going to get that wrist on top of. They're going to want to get their wrist on top of your wrist. Um, to, to hook you, and you can drag on a hook too. You don't have to just pull straight down. And then you got the press. So if you notice that somebody is setting up with their shoulder real tight like this, be ready for a hook and a press. Um, if somebody sets up and double caps your thumb, be ready for a strong or hard top roll. Um, and then make sure you're practicing these things both hands because you may think your dominant hand that you write with is your strongest hand. Um, but my strongest hand is actually my left hand by at least 
it can do about 20% more work than my right hand. And this is the one I use all the time. So this is my non-dominant hand. So um, make sure you train both sides equally, all right? That's lesson number one. If you have any questions, yeah, you'll have questions. Send me, a, send me something. Um, send me something uh, and, and, and we'll get back to each other. All right, man. Oh, wait. I should probably tell you how often you should practice this. Um, I would do, if I was you, I would practice going over all those different things. Um, 10 reps per little movement, 10 reps per, uh, and then do 10 sets of 10 reps of each because you need to get your repetitions in. So you need to learn how to get your elbows in tight and keep your arm tight against your body. You don't want it extended. If you get extended, that's not good. Um, you want to always stay tight. Keep your shoulder and your wrist real tight to each other. Try not to let them separate because then that, that opens you up to being stretched out and it makes you vulnerable and you're weaker. The more stretched out you get, the, the weaker you are. You need to try to pull it back tight. Um, and that's it, man. Lesson one, um, and we'll see you soon.